there. So I have another little training tip for you for Slack. If you want to set your notifications, um, especially if you want to hear if somebody is calling you on a huddle, then you're going to want to go and set your notifications for that. So you're going to go to your profile picture. You're going to go to preferences and then select notifications. I have it set to all notifications, but you can have it set if it's just a direct message to you, if somebody messages you, or if there are certain keywords that they type, it'll message you or it'll give you a notification. Um, if you're in a work group specifically for our team, you should have it set on all messages because there's going to be times that there's a news article that is set um, or shared and it may not be direct mentioned to you. So you should have it set to all, all new messages. Um, notify me when a huddle starts in a channel. Um, this is more so for the paid version because this, our huddles are one-on-one. -on -one, and so you would technically go to somebody's profile and start a huddle from there. Um, keywords, this is where you could set some keywords for the notifications. We're going to jump down to notification schedule. If you set a reminder, this is the time that it's going to set for. So in other words, if I say, please remind me tomorrow, um, to call my client, it will automatically default to an eight o'clock reminder unless you change that or unless you specify a specific time. Okay. Um, then if you keep going sound and appearances, um, this is where you're going to have it. It's kind of fun actually, because I just found a new, a new sound. <laughs> um, but the notification for messages is any of these that you can choose. Okay. Um, you can do sending a message. I don't have one for sending a message because I know if I'm sending a message. Uh, if you receive a message while in a conversation, I don't really feel like I need to have a notification for that either um, because I'm in the conversation. But then this is where it should notify you with a sound if somebody is trying to connect a huddle with you. Um, and this is the sound I have. I love it. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that. Um, some of the sounds that they have are a very quick sound and then it stops. And for me, I probably wouldn't even hear it on the first one. So I needed something that continued a little bit longer so that I could hear it like a phone ringing, um, so that I could come to my computer or my phone to answer the huddle. Um, also you can do when I'm not active on the desktop, send notifications to my mobile device and send email notifications, notifications for mentions and direct messages. If you'd like to do that as well. So this was just kind of a quick overview of the notifications and sounds that you can set for your Slack work group. Um, hopefully you found that helpful.